today we're gonna drive one of the most beautiful roads in the world in our tiny van. We are on the Transfagarashan, which is a 151 kilometer road in Romania, in Carpathian Mountains. They say it's the best road in the world. The Transfagarashan. Garashan. The Transfagarashan. Garashan. Transfer that transfer transfer tra transfer I remember watching Top Gear when I was younger and seeing this road in some crazy far away place called Romania and now we're here to drive it. The highest point of the road is 2042 meters and this is the second highest paved mountain road in whole Romania. We got very very lucky because normally this road is closed by the end of October but it is middle of November now, 15th of November, and as you can see, we have beautiful sunny weather and the road is still open. Yay! Usually this road is closed due to snow, due to bad weather, and it doesn't open again until springtime. And a couple of days ago, there was actually snow up here and one of our subscribers told us that it was closed. But this morning, I was checking on the Facebook group because there is a Facebook group for this road and I saw that the official announcement is they're closing this road on Thursday at 7 a.m. So today is Tuesday. So this is probably our only chance at getting to drive and see this road, which we're very happy about. It's full of these hairpins and just crazy, crazy views. And a bonus about this road is that you can see bears everywhere here. Apparently, uh, our friends, uh, Romanian friends, they told us yesterday that there were so many bears and we are probably, uh, we'll see them. People told them that, you know, they can find food next to the road because people started to f just feed them, you know, which is not very nice. And there, that's why there's so many bears by the road. Uh, apparently they are friendly, we'll see about that. <laughs> they give one a cuddle. So keep your eyes peeled because we're looking for bears. At the moment, we've barely seen any cars here. In the summer, I'm sure this is very full, like full of motorbikes. It's very popular for motorbikes, nice cars. Uh, people also hike up here and cycle as a challenge. So, I don't know, I feel lucky, very lucky that we got this nice weather today. Also tomorrow it looks like it's going to be raining and that could quite possibly be snow. Honestly we thought that uh, the channel like, is gone, our opportunity is gone and we're not going to be on this road unfortunately. Yeah. And um, I was very sad about it. The transfer Garashan was constructed between 1970 and 1974 during the rule of Nicolae Ceausescu as a response to the 1968 invasion of Czechoslovakia by the Soviet Union. Many workers died. Official records state that only 40 soldiers lost their lives, but unofficial estimates by workers put the number in the hundreds. Ceausescu wanted to ensure quick military access across the mountains in case of a Soviet invasion, and this is what he came up with. Come on, surely that's worth a subscribe. As you might be able to see in the background, the bed. That's what happens when we drive mountain passes. It just all slips off and leaves a mess. And the tap rattles against the window. 
Once you reach the highest point of the road, you are greeted with the beautiful glacial Balea Lake surrounded by rugged mountains. Here you can find a couple of hotels with restaurants and the start of several hiking routes into the Fagaras Mountains, some of the best hiking terrain in Europe. Okay, so because we have only like slightly less than an hour left of daylight, we're gonna drive through the tunnel and start making our way down the other side of the mountain. We are up here and we're just having a look on park for night now because we don't really wanna drive in the dark the rest of the road, we wanna see it. So we're gonna drive perhaps down to this lake. It's more like a thousand meters uh, in elevation. We could sleep here. But it's too cold. It's going to be very cold and I checked the weather for actually up here. It does say tomorrow it might be decent but it could also change so I'd rather not risk it. Um, so yeah, we'll continue driving. Hopefully you're enjoying Transfagarasan. Transfagarasan. That. Transf Transfagarasan. Transfagarasan. And if you are, hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Press like. I'm Omar. Behind the camera is Justina, my lovely wife. And this is our little van. Wow, we might get the drone up again. Oh my god. Ah, here is the sun is hiding. We've used all three drone batteries now, so no more drone shots, unfortunately. Uh, but I think we've got everything we needed. So far, on this side, yeah, it looks like you're more likely to see bears. There's more green, there's more forest. Yeah, you haven't seen, yeah. haven't seen any yet, but maybe as we continue, we will. When you look at this place on Google Maps or something or online, usually you see the famous view from the other side, up at the hut, looking down at the road. And I don't think I've seen anything from, from this side of the road. And this might be the unpopular opinion, but I think this side of the road might be better. I don't know. Maybe it was just due to the light that we had. Yeah, but it was the combination of light and sunset, it was amazing. Just incredible. If you haven't been here, put it on your bucket list. Come here, doesn't matter what you bring. Just come and have a look at this road. It is 
Insane. No, but I'm so far. We don't have luck. Maybe they're sleeping already. <laughs> For winter. Right, for our dinner, we have a salad with some rice that was left over. And once again, we're having beans on toast. This time with some, with some vegan cheese under there. And... Yeah. Only because we don't want to cook too much. Like, we don't want to make lots of steam. And we don't want to make bears come to our van and eat us. <laughs> yeah, they, they bears don't want beans on toast, do they? They're not English bears. They're Romanian bears. <laughs> We just literally parked on the side of the road. The road is there. And we tried a spot up there and it wasn't really good. So, yeah, just next to the road, it's flat. Just have to be careful. We haven't, we went out of the van very quickly, but we're not planning to go back out of the van, just in case. <laughs> Getting ready for bed? What's the time? Quarter to eight, and we're gonna get cozy in bed. We're gonna watch a movie tonight because here we just have a tiny bit of signal in the mountains. Probably will fall asleep after half an hour because <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty tired after today. Uh, lots of driving, lots of walking, running on the mountain with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was like two and a half hour drive this morning. And then all the way up the mountain, back down the mountain, and then back up again, and then down the other side, and all the way down here, yeah. We've got some movies downloaded on the laptop, so we're going to show you how we watch movies. Right, let's go to movie mode. Movie mode. Wrong way. <sighs> Unfortunately, we didn't see any bears, but we did see the amazing Transfagarshan road. Transfagarshan. I still can't say it. <laughs> yeah, huge tick off the bucket list. Very happy that we got to drive it. Very lucky, feel extremely lucky. Because we really thought that we missed it. And I'm happy for Omar that he could saw it and make his dream come true. <laughs> Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.